good conditioning work that we can do from our quadruped position to kind of mix into our circuits. Um, that would be our crawling pattern. So for our crawling patterns, we've got our forward crawl. So we're going to start off by just an assumed setup, right? So if I'm here, hands underneath the shoulders, toes here, knees underneath the hips, right? So I'm going that opposite hand, opposite leg, moving at the same time, forward, And then reverse. Now you'll notice here, I'm not letting my hips shift very much. I'm trying to keep everything fairly still. Um, a really great way to make yourself have to own that is either put a water bottle or in this case I have a sand ball here. This is one of my favorites. Put it right on the small of the back. Okay, get yourself set up. Knees come off the ground. Now you've got to keep that ball in place as you move. And what this does is it really makes you own that position and that core stability. Okay? Same thing from the side position now. A little bit different hand pattern, foot pattern. You're going to be going, everything square to start, right? Hands together, feet apart. So you can see I stepped out as I brought the hands together. And then hands apart, feet together. Okay? Just like that. And then I reverse it. Same thing. Same rules apply as far as your hips. You're trying to keep everything level so they're not going like so. So by that I mean you don't want to see this. See how it's pretty loose there? We're just trying to keep everything steady. 